In the name of Allah. Hello. Taj Mahal of India. Taj Mahal is one of the most amazing and beautiful buildings in the world, which is located near the city of Agra, India, and 200 kilometers from the city of New Delhi. This beautiful building, which has been registered in the UNESCO World Heritage List as the jewel of Islamic art in India and one of the acclaimed masterpieces of World Heritage, attracts many tourists from all over the world every year, which has led to Taj Mahal should also be introduced as one of the seven wonders. It is safe to say that Taj Mahal is an amazing place and has many secrets that arouse the curiosity of the audience. Also, by being in this place, you will undoubtedly be attracted by the greatness of its architecture. Taj Mahal is a square building that is 58 meters high and 56 meters wide. This amazing building, which is one of the new seven wonders, is located in the city of Agra in the state of Uttar Pradesh, India. Therefore, upon entering India, you can easily find this famous and square-shaped building. Taj Mahal can be considered the fruit of extraterrestrial and legendary love. Because Shah Jahan, the Gorkhan king, built this beautiful and unique place in memory of his third Iranian wife named Arjamand Baino, and the magnificence of this building was famous all over the world. Shah Jahan and Arjamand Baino got married in 1912 and gave birth to 14 children in 18 years of life. Of these 14 people, only 7 survived. Since Shah Jahan was very fond of Arjamand Baino, he decided to take her with him in one of his war raids, which happened to be in the last months of her pregnancy, but during that trip, Arjamand Baino died after giving birth to her 14th child named Gohari Begum died. Before his death, he had asked his wife not to take a wife after him and to build a tomb for him that would last forever. After the death of the honorable lady, the king was very sad and after thinking and deliberation, he decided to act on his wife's will. Therefore, he built an amazing building to be a witness to his love and to remain eternal in his name. For this reason, Shah Jahan gathered designers, engineers, and expert craftsmen from all over the world to build a tomb based on the latest achievements of Gorkhani architecture. Shah Jahan gathered the best architects and craftsmen from all over the world to build the Taj Mahal. Therefore, no one knows the exact name of its main architect and this person's name is one of the unsolved mysteries of this amazing building. Since historians have mentioned 37 architects about Gorkhani, it can be concluded that not only one person but a group of architects played a role in the construction of this royal building. In addition, according to the American historian Milo Beach, Due to Shah Jahan's great interest in the art of architecture, there is a possibility that the architect or architects of this building built the Taj Mahal with his advice. If you have ever visited the Taj Mahal tomb, you have undoubtedly seen the combination of Persian, Islamic and Gurkhan architecture. It is interesting to know that the Taj Mahal is an example of Seyfavid architecture, which was done with the utmost taste and taste. Based on the surviving manuscripts from the 17th century AD, it can be concluded that Ustad Ahmed Lahori, an engineer and astronomer of Iranian descent, born in Rother, was the architect of this building. 
Besides this person, Ismail Effendi, Makarmat Khan, and Abdul Karim Mamur Khan are among the people who played a role in the construction of the Taj Mahal. Also, Abdul Haq Shirazi, nicknamed Amanat Khan, is a calligrapher of the 11th century Ah, whose most important work is the third line engraved on the door and walls of the Taj Mahal tomb and its Quranic inscriptions. Since the architecture of Taj Mahal is a combination of Persian and Gurkhan architecture, so Ahmed Lahori and his brother Hamid Lahori started building it with the leadership of 20,000 artists and architects. Also, the art of Iranian calligraphy is one of the wonders of this historical building, which were carved on its walls by Issa Khan Shirazi and Amanat Khan Shirazi. Another interesting point in the Taj Mahal building is its design, which is derived from the design of Timur's tomb in Samarkand, Atam Dolia's tomb, Humayun's tomb in Delhi, and Delhi Jama Masjid in Delhi. One of the main and biggest differences between Taj Mahal and other Gurkhan buildings is its facade. Most Gurkhan buildings are built with red sandstone, but Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal using white marble decorated with gemstones, which is a testimony to the preciousness of this building. Although about three and a half centuries have passed since the construction of the Taj Mahal, it can always be said that there are amazing secrets in this building that remain in a veil of ambiguity, imagination, and suspicion. One of the secrets of Taj Mahal is the existence of secret rooms with always closed doors. It can be said that in this vast complex with 1089 rooms, there are 22 rooms that no one is allowed to visit and their doors are always closed and have not been opened to anyone. In this case, some experts believe that the process of building these secret rooms may not have been completed in terms of architecture, and therefore, Shah Jahan ordered that the doors of these rooms should never be opened in order for the Taj Mahal to look perfect and beautiful. Don't be. However, some other experts also believe that somewhere behind these closed doors and halls, the embalmed corpse of the venerable lady is hidden, but since the king and queen were both Muslims, this is a little far-fetched it seems. Inside the Taj Mahal, there are two eight-sided tombs decorated with semi-precious stones and carvings, which are generally attributed to the tombs of Shah Jahan and Arjamand Baino. But these tombs are actually designed for the king and his wife. Because in Islam, it is forbidden to place the body in decorated coffins and graves, and therefore the main grave of these two people is in the sealed room on the ground floor of the complex. Based on observations and quotations, some historians are of the opinion that Shah Jahan decided to build a mansion with black marble on the other side of the river in order to connect these two mansions through a bridge. The bridge shows the eternal dependence of these two lovers on each other, but unfortunately, Omar Shah Jahan did not build this mansion and after him, his son considered it as a crime against his father. Another secret of the Taj Mahal that surprises all visitors is the continuous color change of the building at different hours of the day. Since the sun gives a new color to the Taj Mahal every hour of the day, therefore, at the beginning of the day and when the sun rises, the Taj Mahal is a pink and dreamy building, and in the evening, the color of this building changes to milky white. At night, it turns golden under the moonlight. 
today, the Taj Mahal tomb is one of the most famous historical monuments in the world. The construction of this white marble building lasted for 21 years, and during these years, many methods were used to keep the Taj Mahal unchanged and destroyed. But this mansion, like many other buildings, underwent transformations and changes over time, some of which are Changing the atmosphere of the Taj Mahal garden after the control of the British Empire over India, and the construction of a formal lawn. The use of clay mask, especially for Indian women, to clean the dust and keep the shine of the building, which has changed the color of the white marble of this building to green, yellow and brown colors. The construction of the Taj Mahal began in 1632, a year after the sudden death of Mumtaz Mahal, and was completed in 1653. That is, it took about 22 years to build this architectural masterpiece. The materials used to build the Taj Mahal were collected from all over India and the old continent. For example, the transparent white marble of Marakana in Rajasthan, green jade, and Chinese crystal, Tibetan turquoises, along with Afghan lapis lazuli, Sri Lankan sapphires, and Saudi jaggery agate, were among the materials and gems that were used in the construction of the Taj Mahal. It is also said that Shah Jahan ordered to bring the best and purest type of marble and more than 28 types of precious and semi-precious stones from Rajasthan, Afghanistan, Tibet, and China to India for the construction of the Taj Mahal. In addition, thousands of elephants and cows were brought to India to transport marble stones and materials from all over Asia. Regarding the construction of this building, some believe that the Gorkhani emperor was not lacking in cruelty and power seeking from his other Mongol ancestors, so he decided to spend a lot of money and build an amazing and expensive building, the glory of the monarchy. Show yourself. Taj Mahal is one of the tallest historical buildings in India, which is 73 meters high and has earned the title of the most symmetrical structure in the world. In this case, some experts are of the opinion that the existence of such symmetry shows the absolute power of Shah Jahan. It is interesting to know that this tomb is made up of different parts which are Collection Input the entrance to the Taj Mahal complex is one of the main reasons for the wonder and beauty of the complex. Because the entrance gate of the complex, which is known as Rosa Gate, is decorated with amazing carvings. This door, which is about 30 meters high, has verses from the Holy Quran engraved on black stone. The tomb. The mausoleum is one of the main parts of the Taj Mahal complex, located at the end of the garden, and its grandeur to watch has made the Taj Mahal the marble crown of India. One of the most beautiful parts of this mausoleum has a dome that stands out on top of the mausoleum along with a beautiful bunch of flowers. This dome with a height of 35 meters is called an onion-shaped dome because of its special design. In the upper part of the main dome, there is a gilded bar, which is made of Indian and Persian decorative elements. In the early 19th century, a bronze and gilt bar replaced the bar on the main dome. Mosque it is safe to say that one of the most important parts of the Taj Mahal is its mosque, 
which is located on the left side of the building and is designed in red. The interior of this mosque is similar to other mosques in the world and has a mirab and pulpit, which on special days welcomes a large number of Muslims living in Agra. In the inner and outer parts of the mosque, divine verses are written in good handwriting, and due to the symmetry in the building, another building was built on the other side of the Taj Mahal, similar to this mosque. Guest House The guest house or Nicaracain is another part of the Taj Mahal, which is located on the right side and is very similar to the mosque. So far, no detailed information has been found about this complex and they only used this complex as a guest house. Reddish brown sandstone was used in the construction of this building, and its architecture, with three beautiful domes and a large porch in the middle and two porches on the sides, captivates the eyes of every viewer. Also, four small domes can be seen at the end of the guest house, which has multiplied its beauty. Museum in the Taj Mahal, there is a small building as a museum, which is called the Taj Museum, and is located in the western part of the Taj Gardens. Taj Mahal architectural paintings are kept in this museum along with a collection of coins and gold, and it is possible to visit it every day. Garden it can be safely said that one of the most beautiful and attractive parts of the Taj Mahal is the Taj Mahal Garden, which is inspired by the Iranian Chahar Baha model and has an area of about 250,000 square meters. This garden, which consists of four sections and is divided into 16 gardens by narrow paths, has a large pond in its green and spectacular path, which is known as the Khazar Basin, and is used by worshippers for ablution. One of the most beautiful images you can see in the Taj Mahal is the reflection of the Taj Mahal in the water of this pond. The rebellion of 1857 caused a lot of damage to the Taj Mahal, the soldiers also dug some stones and lapis lazuli and the garden was also destroyed. At the end of the 19th century, Lord Curzon, the former Viceroy of India under the British rule, ordered the restoration of the Taj Mahal, and in 1908 these repairs were completed. The garden that we see today has been reconstructed in such a way that it has the characteristics of Chahar Baha. He also gifted a chandelier to the Taj Mahal, which now hangs there. The best time to visit the Taj Mahal. It can always be said that it is possible to visit the Taj Mahal in all seasons. But if the weather is important to you, you should visit this collection in the autumn and winter seasons. Because if you plan to wear Indian clothes, you will definitely get bored in the summer heat. On the other hand, it cannot be denied that summer is the best time to travel to India and visit the Taj Mahal for photography due to the presence of good light. Because with the sun shining every hour of the day and night, this building takes on a new and amazing color. Thank you for being with me until the end of the clip. If you love tourist places and enjoy these clips, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Wait for my next clip.